Hello and welcome back to X-Plane 11 everybody and today we're going to be checking out the Payware Program X-Plane Mission Generator. It's a plugin for X-Plane, you can go and download it from the X-Plane store and what it does is, it, it, as the title suggests, it randomly generates missions using any aircraft that you select from any airport in the world that you happen to be. So today what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the trusty Just Flight Cessna 152 uh, and we're going to fly in the South Island of New Zealand. I just wanted to take advantage of that photorealistic scenery, which I did a video on very recently. And um, let's see what this program is all about. So if we jump into the cockpit, you go up to the normal plugins menu, and here it is right here, the mission generator. So for a start, if we go to the pilot profile, you can see here nothing uh, in the profile yet. I haven't actually done a flight with this program so I'm very interested to see how it goes but as you can see there's a bunch of different points that you can earn through doing short flights long flights IFR night island hopping small planes float planes special missions autopilot multi-engine planes there's there's a bunch of different options available there and then of course you've got your levels down here I'm level zero you can't get much lower than that and obviously as you go up you get more and more levels so uh, some other options available here with Mission Generator. If you look in the preferences, you can change the, the unit selected, Imperial or Metric. Uh, you can also enable or disable certain things that will either add or take away penalties. So for example, I've got the Autopilot penalty disabled. If you enabled that and you used your Autopilot, you would cop a penalty when it comes to a score. Uh, you can also enable or disable uh, disable I should say time compression and this and you can also select to have your debrief pop up either while you're taxiing back to the gate or once you hit your parking so there's a few options there so the first thing we'll do is we can go into the mission list and it will automatically generate a list of missions from the airport you're currently located and in the, in the type of aircraft you're currently flying so I'm in the Cessna 152 and I'm down in Balclutha NZBA and there's a bunch of different missions available here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ultra short one. And the shortest one here that I can see is back to Dunedin, which was featured in that uh, recent video with the photorealistic scenery. And so I'll select that. Boom. And here you go. Here goes the mission brief briefing. Dear sirs, deliver one passenger from Balclutha, NZBA, to Dunedin, NZDN. Fragile cargo lands smoothly. Sincerely, management. Good old management. So there you go, it gives you a little bit of an idea on uh, what to expect. So you've got a grass runway, which we can see outside our cockpit window there, mountainous and coastal. I don't know if I'd call Belclutha mountainous, to be honest. De definitely fairly coastal, it's probably 20 k's from the coast. And then you've got uh, NZDN, which is asphalt with uh, hilly, definitely hilly, I would say, and somewhat coastal also. Uh, our payload weight is 116.6 kilos plus a pilot. An estimated flight time of six minutes. Uh, I don't think that's quite correct. But anyway, we will go with that. And um, I wonder why this particular passenger is fragile. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and accept that mission. And I assume we just close these up here. And it's selected. It's gone green. So let's go ahead and start up our aircraft. And uh, I've done all the pre-flight. So what I do need to do is take away the outside elements, which... They have gone, and let's bring up our checklist and go ahead and we'll start up this puppy. Now, I do have head shake enabled, also another cool little plugin, so you'll see the effects of that kick in throughout the flight. Okay, battery master switch on, boom, uh, alternator switch on. There we go, boom, boom. Mixture is gonna be rich, it is indeed. And throttle half a inch open, props are clear, they certainly are. So let's go ahead and, whoa, there we go, we got it started. Our gyro is not aligned, and uh, a little tip here for you, just press D, and that is done. Pop, it's clear we've done that. Engine started, started, yes, I can confirm it has started. Ignition switch to both, and it certainly is. Throttle adjust back to 800 RPM. There's an RPM over there, and we need to pull it back just a little bit more we'll keep it down there oil pressure check is it in the greens it certainly is down here and throttle 800 to 1000 there we go we're right on 1000 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to taxi out to the runway, but I'll conduct my run up on the way out, and then I'll rejoin you just as we're about to take off. Catch you soon. Okay, welcome back everybody, and uh, we have completed our run-up, and we're now set on the runway, ready to go, everything good to go, so let's power up and get out of here. A little bit of torque coming in there, a bit bumpy, no wind whatsoever, which is nice, a little bit of right rudder to compensate for that torque. Back pressure here, just a little bit of back pressure. And she will start flying herself. Does indeed. And we're just gonna aim to uh, climb at about 70 knots, is what we're aiming for. So we'll get that nicely trimmed out and it takes care of itself. We'll take a quick look at the map. And you can see us there in the red aircraft. We just need to make a bit of a turn to the left to uh, head in the right direction towards Dunedin. So we'll do that right now. What we're going to do today in this particular flight is I'm not using any sort of GPS or anything like that. I'm just going to hand fly this thing. And uh, we're going to look to level off at about 3,500 feet. And in the background there, you can see the town of Balclutha. We're just a little bit too low to really get the best effect out of this particular scenery. But once we get up a, a, a thousand, uh, another thousand, fifteen hundred feet, we'll be looking really nice. Okay, we're at our cruising altitude of three thousand five hundred feet, everybody, and we'll get a chance now to sit back and relax and just enjoy some of this uh, photorealistic scenery just for a little while. It won't be long till we need to uh, make our approach into Dunedin, so we'll enjoy some of the scenery and then I'll rejoin you just as we're about to make our approach into NZDN. Okay everybody, here we are, we're on short finals coming into runway 03 here in Dunedin. And we're just a little bit high, it's telling us. Let's see if I can uh, nail the landing. Aiming for 65, we're just a little bit fast. So we'll just pull back a little bit, we're a little bit high now. It's okay, we can actually, I'm not gonna land for, I'm not gonna look for the normal landing zone here, I'm gonna overfly because I know that the, the uh, runway exit is way down this runway. And so we might as well not uh, spend all day taxiing. I'm just a little bit slow at the moment, but it's it's okay. Not much wind around. So we'll just hold off a little bit here. It's still a little bit slow. It's okay. it's not too bad, though. Okay. We'll pretend this is our threshold here. Pull off our power. Looking to flare. Holding it off. Oh, we've got the store warning. Oh, that was a little bit too heavy, I think. All right, we'll pull back those flaps, and we're approaching the uh, taxi, the taxiway down here. And we'll wait for the uh, mission generator to pop up with how we did. Okay, everybody, as we uh, come back to the gates, it pops up with this little debriefing message. So let's just check out what it's got to say here. Uh, 30 XP for mission being a success, uh, success, I should say. Bonus objective of 10 XP. Okay, so our centerline deviation was 0 0.26 metres. I think that's good, 10 XP. Uh, runway surface was grass, so we've got an extra 5 XP for that. Flight time, 25 XP. Not too sure if that's good or not. No time compression. Landing speed, 0 0.65 metres per second, 0 XP. So I can't have done that well on the landing, and I think, as we can see, it was just a little bit too heavy. So overall... 80 XP is what I have earned. Okay, and here goes my pilot profile. And I have made a little bit of a dent into uh, level 2. 
but not that much. And what actually happens is as you level up, you get points and you can then spend the points on all these individual little boxes here. And depending on what box you select, uh, it gives you a little perk. So for example, for long flights, every level makes long flights over two hours 50% more frequent, so it'll show more of those on the missions table, and it'll give you 10% more XP. Uh, another option is if you do night flights, every every level makes night flights give 20% more XP, so there you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little plug-in right, right there, Mission Generator. Adds a little bit of fun and variety to your X-Plane experience. I reckon it's pretty decent. 15 bucks, I reckon, hey, all good. Uh, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And um, it's kind of cool just uh, being able to jump into a plane and go to a random place and having the little skill system here to uh, keep you occupied is another good little option. So, yeah, I think it's it's a decent program. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoy this content, uh, content I should say. Uh, smash that like button. And as always, until next time, everybody, take it easy.